Hi guys, that's Dilitoy's channel and it's all about crocheting. Today's video is dedicated to this cute fellow and I'm going to show you the whole process, including the pattern and all the instructions which can help you create a similar toy. So, I've divided the tutorial into several parts and I'm going to release a new video as soon as I finish editing it. Today we are going to start by crocheting the head and the body, which is the first part of the tutorial. And I believe we can start now. Enjoy your crochet! You can find the list of all the materials used in the description box below. I'm using two kinds of plush yarn. Himalaya Dolphin Baby as the main one and Eliza Softy for feet and muzzle. You may start by magic circle or crochet two chain stitches as I did. I find it easier that way while working with chunky yarn. After that, crochet six single crochet stitches into the second chain stitch from the hook or into the magic circle if you chose this way of starting. I use a thread of contrast color to mark the beginning of the row. The first row is ready. Continue working in rounds. No slip stitches or additional chain stitches needed. Now we need to make an increase in each stitch of the previous round. That means you crochet two single crochet stitches in one loop. We are going to expand our crocheting evenly, making six increases each round. In the third round, crochet a single crochet stitch followed by an increase. Six times, you'll get 18 stitches in total. After that, make two single stitches followed by an increase six times, then three single stitches, and so on. You can see that the detail has kind of round shape, and that's the way it should be. Continue to work same way till you get 42 stitches in total. That's the seventh round where you need to crochet 5 single crochet stitches, followed by an increase 6 times as always.
So that was the last round with increases, and now we are going to crochet a single crochet stitch in each stitch round, three rounds in total. The amount of stitches remains 42. That's the way it looks, and before we continue crocheting the head further, let's get ready the eyes. Cut a square out of formaran, a little bigger than the eye, then make a hole and insert the eye into it. Now use your scissors to make a round shape of a desired size. Use felt as well, or skip this and simply use the eyes without decorating them in advance. We are starting to decrease from this round, doing it in a similar way as we increased before. 5 single crochet stitches followed by a decrease 6 times for the round 11 then 4 single crochet stitches and a decrease, and so on. Here I insert the eyes, as I'm afraid to forget about them later. I insert them between rounds 9 and 10, opposite side from the marker, 5 or 6 stitches between them. You may fasten them at once, or do it later, as I did. Continue decreasing same way, 3 single crochet stitches and a decrease, till the end of round 13.
I fasten the safety eyes and then burn them a bit from behind and press them with scissors. That way, you'll be sure nothing can drag them out. Continue decreasing according to the pattern. That's where I start to stuff the head. I stuff it quite tight, so that it has a proper round shape. Continue crocheting, then stuff till the end. The head is ready. That's the way it looks like. Start the body right after the head. Don't cut the thread. Just continue crocheting. As you can see, something similar to a neck already shows up. Continue crocheting following the pattern. One more round with six increases.
and a round of 24 stitches in total, no increases needed. As you can notice, the marker of round's beginning slightly moves in the process. We need to align it sometimes, and that's the case here, as we are going to make increases on the belly, and it's important that they are placed in the middle. What we do now is find the middle of the head, front part, according to the place where the eyes were installed. Add an additional marker below, where the belly is. After that, count 12 loops till the main marker. Crochet additional single crochet stitches and move the marker. That the new round's beginning. Eight single crochet stitches, then eight increases and eight single crochet stitches again. So, the increases for the belly are on their place. We can move on now. And we crochet one single crochet stitch in each loop. That's 32 stitches, 3 rounds in total. So, the belly is almost ready, and now I'm going to decrease the body in a similar way I used to increase it. The marker moved a bit again, so I need to align it. And then continue crocheting. 8 single crochet stitches, then 8 decreases, and 8 single crochet stitches again. Two single crochet stitches followed by a decrease six times for the round 26.
stuff the body and continue decreasing. Finally, 6 decreases and you'll get 6 stitches in the end. Cut the thread, add stuffing if needed, then tighten the hole Fasten the thread and weave in the tail. Good job! The first part is ready! Thanks for watching!